Look at this. Look at that. Look, are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing that? <laughs> you can hover it. You can literally hover. Okay. We are back at the field here. We got the new Vigan. The Vigan is ready to go. The 64 millimeter Vigan, total redesign. Uh, if you guys have been following, I changed the, um, uh, the whole airframe, basically. I did all from scratch again, just using similar formers, but um, I went to back to my original airfoil on the Mirage, and that is, uh, seems to be working great on that one. And then um, I changed the canard angle. You can see on the, uh, on the front there, the positive incidence on the canard. And um, I swept the wing uh, to a positive, um, or I'm sorry, to a negative incidence on the main wing and then a little kick up at the rear to, uh, to get some more uh, upward pitch. Um, I'm going to throw this up without the canard servos installed, uh, just to, trying to keep the, uh, keep the variables down a bit and uh, hopefully get a good flight uh, without the canard servos and then add them later. Uh, again, I'm running a 4S 64, uh, 64 millimeter EDF. Uh, push the EDF back in the, in the airframe. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in there. Uh, but that's back substantially, maybe like four or five inches. And that, what that did, it allowed me to get um, way better battery placement. Uh, I don't know if this is in frame because I'm not using my GoPro. For some reason, the GoPro will not, will not charge. And um, I'm not sure what's going on with the GoPro. So I got to use my iPhone strapped to my head. I'm sure people think that I'm crazy here at the field but um got to do what i got to do for you guys so uh normal normal uh first first made in flight i use the rubber band trick because i refuse to spend time putting magnets uh buried in there and any extra time that's uh you know not needed i'm not going to do it uh just to get a maiden flight um I print way too many of these things to, to be doing that, so I uh, apologize for that. So, control surface check looks good. Thrust uh, feels good. Get another flight in for you guys, even though I have one servo that's being lazy. Hopefully you can see this, and hopefully we get a good flight on camera. Easy launch. Guys, this thing flies so good. So good. Look at that. Oh yeah. I really hope you can see this. Wow. Floats great. This flies just as good as my Mirage. Wow. Look at this. It's got good stall characteristics and the slowdown is incredible. I hope this, I hope my, uh, my phone isn't completely dead. So good. This thing is so awesome. <laughs> I keep saying that. So good, so awesome, so good. Yank it hard, make sure the airframe can take it. I'm definitely going to get this file to you guys. I don't know if my phone is dead yet or not, but I had 2% battery. Um, I just can't get over how good this thing flies. Oh man, so good. I can't wait for you guys to try this one too. I think I like it better than the Mirage. I'm not sure, actually. Let me see if I can get um, a slow a slow flyby. Look at the rock solid work. All right, I think my phone just died. Huh. 
Sweet. Third flight, ready to go. Now my transmitter battery is about to die. I can't, I can't win today. First it's my GoPro, then it's my phone. Now it's my, my transmitter. Now the transmitter is a big problem if that dies because I have like 2% right now <laughs> on everything. But I, I, gotta, I gotta get this thing up in the air again. Guys, seriously, this is incredible. Um, Mirage airfoil on the Vigan, it flies unbelievable. I'm gonna try and get the files tonight, but if I can't, maybe tomorrow. So let's do another flight real quick and see how it goes. Hopefully my transmitter doesn't die. Not enough power on that battery. I don't know why. That battery is really low powered for some reason. But look at that. Look how good it flies. The 1800 is way better in this plane for, in terms of power. Um, I think, you know what? I think I might've hurt this battery somehow. I'm not sure, but the 1800, you can see from the last flight was way better, but it's still, I mean, it's the same plane. It's just didn't, didn't have as much punch getting out of here. So good thing is just so cool definitely uh cg is slightly back with the lighter battery i moved it forward as much as i could 1500 is probably the lowest you're gonna go um, in terms of um, capacity the 1800 is optimal i would do 1800 all day because you get a good flight time and you get um good maneuverability it's just uh wow so happy with this. I'm gonna try and bring it in close so you guys can check it out. <laughs> Look at that, stall, yes. Oh my God, I don't know how that came out of that. So I just basically stalled it 15, 20 feet off the ground. You could see there's no trickery going on here. Look at that, Look at that slow speed. Oh my God, this plane. <laughs> I swear to God, there's no gyro in there. All my planes look like they have gyros. I don't, I can't really explain it. Um, <laughs> but look at, look at the slow speed. Look at it. Look at that. I basically pulled a Cobra maneuver and I thought the, the plane was gonna basically wreck. Look at this. I, I wanna get a little risky just so I can, I know we have a snowstorm coming here in a couple days and I'm not gonna be able to fly a lot, so I wanna make sure that I get some good, some good content for you guys. Uh, now, look at this flight. I'm literally not gonna stop the video, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna take the plane down, and I'm gonna open it up to show you there is no gyro in this plane. I think the battery's dead. Uh-oh, okay. The battery is definitely dead, but it floats. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna show you exactly what is inside this plane. A lot of people are gonna think there's a gyro, I'm telling you, but here you go. You saw it, look, right there. I got my spectrum, nothing in there. Wires, nothing in here. Okay, I'm gonna break this plane, getting this off with the with the Velcro. All right, I'm gonna have to do this on the table. But seriously, um, if I can get another flight, I'm gonna try and get it for you. But wow, guys, this thing is unreal. It's incredible. I love it. I don't have enough words uh, to describe it, but the slow flight with the Vigan is like nothing I've ever seen on a 3D printed plane. I, I mean, you, you saw it. Imagine when I have the, uh, the canards going, the canard servos installed with the little 3.7 gram servos. You guys should order those servos now. They come in a five pack or a six pack or whatever, whatever it is. Um, order them now. And uh, 
Oh man, the 1300 is gonna be really tail heavy. Um, because once this thing gets mixed, the elevator gets mixed in with the um, with the canard servos. I'm sorry, I really, I can't think right now because this thing flies so good and I have like a million things going through my ADD brain. I can't get the battery out. There we go. I don't wanna break this thing. Um, let's check the voltage on this battery because I don't wanna wreck this 420. Okay. So I'm gonna try and do the 1300. I'm gonna shove it all the way in the fore, in the front. Something keeps stabbing me. I wanna try and get a flight real quick um, before my transmitter completely dies. Okay. Let me, I need to verify the CG before I chuck this thing up again. Uh, we're good, but it is a little bit tail heavy. Uh, I hope I'm okay here. We'll see. All right, let's do this again. Let's get another good fleet in. Push the limits a little bit more. All right, less wind, so that's good. That was an underhand. Oh, better performance with the 1300. Okay, so you can fly a 1300. Wow, that's a 1300 milliamp battery. Look at this, look at that. Look, are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing that? <laughs> you can hover it. You can literally hover an EDF jet without a gyro. No gyro. I'm sure you guys are better pilots than me. I am not a good pilot by any means. Look at this. Look at the performance. I can yank this thing around. This is better than the Mirage. This is more aerobatic. It, this thing flies better. Look how, look how low I am right now. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. You can tell me if there is a jet on the market that can fly like this. Purchased, built, whatever you want. That's throttle off, floating, punch it. <laughs> That's a 1300. Look at this, floating. Unbelievable, unreal. This, I, if you guys know of any 3D printed airplanes that can do this, please link it to me. I want to see them. Um, look at this. <laughs> oh my God. You can do anything you want. Look how low. That was 10 feet off the ground. First, this is my third flight with this airplane. 10 feet off the ground and I'm doing this kind of stuff. Floating, oh my God, I cannot wait to get the canard servos in. I'm gonna add some, uh, some tricky thrust vectoring internal nozzles, I believe, into this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the, uh, the roll rate again because I could use a little bit more just in case I get into a, a tricky situation. Look at the 1300 performance. Uh oh. I think my transmitter is dying. Yep, oh, battery's dying. Look at this. And pop. Perfect. All right. Get ready for the Vigan, guys. Get your lightweight PLA. Actually, you know what? Uh, if you're following everything I'm doing on Facebook, this thing came in at 800. Well, with the 1300, you're probably at like 820 grams, okay? 820 grams with the 1300. So 
what does that mean? That means that you're gonna get similar, well, you're gonna get good performance printing this thing in pre-foamed. You're gonna have, no, you're gonna have great performance with pre-foamed PLA, and you're gonna have probably good, acceptable flight performance printed in regular PLA. I don't know if you can tell me of another EDF, uh, 3D printed EDF printed in, in PLA that'll fly good. Now I can't tell you 100% that it's gonna be a, uh, a viable solution or a viable option to do regular PLA, but um, wow. Uh, can you imagine? Uh, being able to print on a bamboo, um, print one of these things out in like 24 hours because it's like three build plates or like three and a half uh, build plates um, printing this thing. You could probably do the whole thing in like 24 to 36 hours on a bamboo, regular PLA, no stringing, nothing. Just like, I I'm actually gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna print this Vigan in regular PLA and I have a feeling it's gonna fly fantastic and you guys are gonna be, uh, this is gonna be like a world's first. Uh, <laughs> there could be other planes like EDF jets that, that are light enough designs to, to fly amazing in regular PLA, but um, I don't know of them. I don't know if, if I've ever seen any. Uh, like I said, you can link them to me if there are any, um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this to you guys and I can't wait for you to fly it crazy.